Welcome back from the break. If you are just tuning in here on KTN Home, you are watching Man Talk. I am your host, Susan Droge, and I'm joined with my epic, epic guest today, Major Peter Sam, Steve Ligami, and Rain Hunt Bonke. We are discussing westernization and how it's interfering with our African traditions, specifically Dari. Now, just before the break, we were talking about saving for Dari as a parent. You guys are parents. Um, saving for Dari as a parent, whether our parents have prepared for us. Did you know? Um, did they plan and tell you? As a parent, would you do that in the future? And, and I like what you said of you would plan that for your son, knowing what you know now and what you went through when growing up. Would you guys save up if you had a boy? Just before you continue, he said something before we went on. Break. Yes. He asked why I would not save for my son. Yes. Or why my parent looks at me now and thinks that how I'll be in future. Mm -hmm. yeah? So mm -hmm. this is one thing. First of all, my parents, my dad, raised me to be self-sufficient. Right. Yeah? To hustle for myself. Mm -hmm. yeah? So I'm expecting, by the time my kid is ready to get into marriage, to have enough money, enough guts to get to, to walk in, to go and pay the bride price. See, when you are 22, you may to campus, and the first thing you think of is marriage. I was not raised to live for marriage. I'm not going to raise my kids to live for marriage. I like that. Get that's married a when you are ready. Get married when your pocket is. Yes. Do uh. not bring another person in your life for you to suffer together. Right. <laughs> I like that. Be ready when you're ready to get married. Get married. Can I ask you? you however you little, or however big a wedding you want. Big or however small. But make sure. You are satisfied with what you are doing. You are bringing this other person understands you completely. Mm -hmm. You do an expensive wedding, you do a, a lot of dowry payments, mm -hmm. and after you go and live in a rented house. No. Now, my friend, mm -hmm. what is the right age for marriage? That's there is no right question. age for marriage. There is so? no, you can get you married you at just any have to time. Be ready. So that imagine means... you are 60 and your parent wants to pay dowry for you. Thank you. Now, what you're doing, what you're doing is good, but yep. it's purely out of speculation. If you were beyond 24 or 21, mm -hmm. nobody knows the day you're going to fall in love with a girl. Mm -hmm. No one dictates that. Mm -hmm. yeah. You might tell yourself that mm -hmm. get married when you're ready. And then you realize that you go somewhere, maybe at the airport, wherever you are, you fall in love with somebody else. Mm -hmm. You will turn them away because you feel that he said, I get married. No, 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 no. no. You, don't get my point. you don't get my point. Them, I just contradict. No. I, 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 contra I just contradict you with your point. Because, contradict. Yeah, because uh, from what he said, mm -hmm. from what he said, you realize, uh, uh, you realize when, when, when you fall in love, you see, like there's no, there's no, there's no, like, and in a quit be they in love and I get as in would I in love at this particular in it happens slowly. It just happens, right? Mm -hmm. But you're what, just a my second. Point. No, just a second. Just, uh, just a second. Just mm -hmm. a second. Mm -hmm. Now, here comes the problem. At the end of the day, because new because before that we marriage, see we, we normally start with dating when I get. Mm -hmm. So uh, the whole point of dating is you guys focus on on marriage later on. When I get if you That's guys your are plan. Not, yeah, if that is not your plan, you're definitely uh, playing you're around wasting with each, each other's other. time. Yes. So so just a second, just a second, just a second. So from dating now to make your marriage, at one girl's story age up you see whatever time that is. When you get to marriage, are we also are we are we looking at getting kids? Yes or no? I assume Definitely so. Yes. yes. I, I'm assuming so. No, it depends. As well. I'm, ass I'm assuming so. Mm -hmm. So, there is, there is me, there is her, there is a kid, and there is zero finances. What life are we living? Now, look at this. Do you know sometimes... There is the whole concept that, of being ready now. Huh? Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Mm -hmm. Do you know sometimes it happens that I have seen people who fell in love, Yes. Mm -hmm. but then they had to, you know, in the middle of waiting for finances. Do you know, you never know how long it's going to take. Mm -hmm. especially with the economy and the industries you have no idea right yeah sometimes you can hustle for six years yeah you can turn up for 10 years mm -hmm. so will you be dating somebody's daughter for 10 years mm -hmm. waiting no, for marriage again this is the thing let's if let's you not you no, no, if you are no no i want steve to say this mm -hmm. point Goja, it's important yeah. if you are a hustler mm -hmm. and if you are tamaking for six years mm -hmm. what time do you have to be in a relationship exactly. to start even dating <laughs> Still, well, what thing is the thing? Listen, listen mm -hmm. again, you, your whole, uh, your whole nini is based on uh, marriage. Your whole life factor is based on marriage, mm -hmm. leading to marriage. Mm -hmm. But this is the thing, there are other things in life more important than marriage. For me, my mm -hmm. hustle is more important than mm -hmm. marriage. Mm -hmm. Let me be steady. 
Umejua, mm -hmm. I got a kid before I was ready. Yes. Umejua, do you know how hard it is to hustle to put uh, food on the table, food on the table sure. for the kid, to take the kid to school? Yes. Do you know how, because I wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about marriage, this is a person you are living with, with another human being. Mm -hmm. There is the bills, there is the fees, there is the, all that, there is the comfortable life you want to live. You have that dream you mm -hmm. always have. Uh -huh. But this is the thing. Mm -hmm. Ni hustle kwanza. Focus yangu ni, what am I making? What am I doing? Ni kileta mtu kwa hii nyumba. Atakuwa na comfortable life. Mm. Just like, I do not want to bring somebody I love to suffer with me. Adding, adding, adding to your point. Let me ask okay. something. Uh -huh. Let me ask something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you think westernization has changed how we as Africans see marriage? Because marriage... Um, in its definition mm -hmm. is two people sharing together and wanting to start a family together that's usually the intention right mm -hmm. when two people are going to get married so there's western culture and african culture and so is it that with westernization with more technology with more money with more different jobs with economies growing we understand marriage differently because there is some people talk about marriage in the sense of, like when we're talking about getting married only when you're ready, it's because your role within that marriage mm -hmm. is to provide and make mm -hmm. sure everyone is okay, your wife exactly, and your yeah. children, right? Exactly, yeah. um, there's also the other side of your role in a marriage is to be happy. You're supposed to be sharing love with this person. You're in a relationship with this person. Again, that's you're a fairy together tale. in the day to day. But you are for love. That's a fairy tale. But you think now, two people cannot be low income earners, be broke and be married and be happy? That you don't person believe when that? is a low in income earner, that's he was ready for that marriage. <laughs> you know, no, now, Steve, Steve, ready Steve, now Steve, I think we're ready for that marriage. So it's about it's, budget. It's, it's personal. Yeah, marriage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personal. What do I want? What, 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 am I achieving what I want? Do I want to be employed for the rest of my life? Okay. No. I want to have my own business. Okay. You know, if you are married, I have time for my kids, time for yeah. my wife. You know about employment. And this is why. Mm. Again, this is reality. We are going to as a family. Reality is not limited. Reality is a dictate with this world we know. Yes. Hakuna dem atakuja kwa kwa umeso ata true or false. It's very hard. No, 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 no. Reality now dictates. No, stop right there. Just stop right there. Steve, in this normal world today, we've got women who prefer starting with a man right from scratch. So that they build together. Nairobi. In the whole world. Okay. So that they build together. This girl will have a voice in everything that is in this home. You understand? It's different from when you have acquired everything, you're bringing her into everything you've acquired. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now she's living under your rule, under your roof, under everything you have. No, again, but that is the difference. Is what you're is the difference. Steve, what she's Steve and Major, uh -huh. hold on. Yeah. Reinhard, um, you said that women want to start with you from scratch. So you yeah. build together. They feel yeah. that they mm -hmm. have a solidity they in this the marriage. Journey. Yes. They understand. However, you also said that Dari is something that should be paid as a token of appreciation. Appreciation. So these two people that have started from the bottom, yes. and he wants to solidify and marry this girl, mm -hmm. but Hannah Dali. Mm -hmm. Now, Now Susie, what happens in these situations? Susie, starting from scratch doesn't mean that you're empty-handed. Okay. Yeah. It just means that if you are building a partnership, mm -hmm. marriage is a partnership, uh -huh. then you're doing it together. Mm -hmm. From the day you get married, after your dowry and after your wedding, mm -hmm. everything you do is on the basis of twin goal. Yes. We are together in this. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference between the life that somebody wants for themselves and then mm -hmm. the life that they'll want when they're in a relationship. Yeah, they're together. Ah, so okay. this is my point again. Mm -hmm. You are hustling. You are where you want to be. Yes. Your circles are different. That's true. Why not meet a wife in your circle? Now you're talking my sense. You're, you meet a wife in your circle, you don't have to start from scratch. This is really She's interesting. She's stable, uh -huh. you are stable. Yes. Mukipatana, everything just, you know, You moves, know where life is, yeah. And, each yeah. Other. and can I tell you something? Trust me, boy, if you get a girl that is stable in your stable, trust me, it won't work. Just from assumption. the normal really? no, Assumptions, bro. It's assumptions. Never, uh -huh. It's assumptions. Why? Just your assumption. It's never worked before. Use, a, use, a, use an example. Why? Use an example for us to understand. Why? Because, because mm -hmm. look at this. Uh, for example, the, the CEO of Amazon, right? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, Jeff Bezos. They started Bezos. from, yeah? from yeah. down. Yeah. Yes. Now today, this person is issuing a divorce mm -hmm. to, uh, to Mackenzie, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now remember, this woman is going to be the richest woman Actually, in the world. Actually, she is yes. Yes. like top 10 and richest. Yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. And yes. the other person. Now tell yes. me that she meets somebody up there mm -hmm. and they get married. Mm -hmm. She has her own experience of making money. Mm -hmm. This person has his own experience. Mm -hmm. They get together.
those minds will never work. Really? So this is the thing. That's like, I don't that's, believe a, that. that's like, that's you very, need to one in a million example yeah. you are using. No, 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 but I still, even with the example, I still struggle to agree yeah. with you on that point. I, so, um, let's use Nairobians here. Yeah. Our oh circle, my God, we're back right? home. Oh, yeah, let's yeah. come reality. back home. Um, two people that, okay, what would be stable? Let me say that they are managerial positions if they're employed. Yeah. So maybe one is working in finance or whatever, the other one can be working in like in media here mm -hmm. where we are. Those are people who get reasonably good salaries if you're working mm -hmm. in those fields of work exactly. and if you're like a managerial position. So when they meet at that level, you're saying when both of them feel established and they start a relationship, it cannot work. Why? Those people have the same views. They probably no, have a saving Susie. culture. They both okay, show that they can be no, wait, dedicated wait. to employment. They Susie. both probably want kids. So why would that relationship not work? It, it depends. You know, there's a difference between you are in need of a companion, uh -huh, company. Uh -huh. Yes. You yes. just need company. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you need love. Yes. Love and company, different. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So in that sense, a marriage can work only if these guys are just, just looking for companionship. Mm, companionship is different. No. Companionship is just, you know, at least when I stand in public, uh -huh. I can say... You have someone. Husband, you, yes. Yeah, but <laughs> love is... Trust me, love marriage. is a fairy tale. It's different. Let, uh -huh. let me ask this. Let me ask this. So, uh, using your words. So, uh, your view of marriage. Uh, marriage in a kujako ribika, especially when the lady is uh, stable. Now look at this. You are both rich, right? Cause, and you're paying cause, dowry. Just uh -huh. wait, let me answer you. Uh -huh. You're both rich. Uh -huh. You're paying dowry. Uh -huh. Do you know, to that woman, the dowry you pay is just a portion of what she has. Yeah. But will she really look at it that way? Because the okay, dowry doesn't say, even go to her. It goes to the family. You also said that, that it's not going to her. It's going, it's to, going to the family. To the family. Yes. Yeah. But she'll but still listen, see it as... Steve said... Do you think she'll see it as Atamimini Geza Kulipa? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Steve said here. Steve said something. And, and I'm saying this, mm -hmm. when you're paying dowry, uh -huh. you are not buying somebody's freedom. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, we said that. These days when we pay dowry, we make the woman feel in the house like she's not supposed to talk, mm -hmm. she's voiceless, she can receive beatings at any time. No, I actually think that is not these days. I think that, it, that was That's in the past. That's how it okay. used to be. Yeah. First of all, I think you have before no we go very I have far. a friend. Oh, these days it's tough. I have a friend uh -huh. who, uh, she's gone through hell. Oh you no, understand? I'm so Just sorry. Just because somebody took some money mm -hmm. and some funny looking kind mm -hmm. of cows <laughs> and took to their village. Yes. Now they own this person. To make it worse, Marjorie says in the coming to birth, she says mm -hmm. that when I marry you, mm -hmm. I don't marry the whole community. It is you I'm married to, right? Mm -hmm. So my brothers, my daddy, my uncles, they don't have power over you. Yeah, yeah. But once we pay dowry, mm -hmm. every time there's a problem in the marriage, what happens? An uncle, yeah, exactly. Even an uncle, you, you even have no idea they exist. They will yes. come, sit down, yes. they want to talk this girl out, yes. they want to rat them down. It doesn't make sense. So let me ask this. Um, in the modern world that we're all living in, do you guys think dowry, like in Kenya, amongst our traditions, amongst modern people, men and women our age, should just be scrapped and taken away? No, it should be given. It, it, it should be a choice. Thank you. Exactly. Ah, yeah. exactly. I like yeah. that. It, should be a choice. it shouldn't be at dictated. Yeah. Like uh, now, you meet know. the lady, you like her, and then no, the family is dictating a panda. Uku kunali pangwa dari it's a mask. It should be a choice of the couple whether yes. they want the to couple, or not. Yes. Because like also, because also, I'm looking at it in this perspective. Uh, we shouldn't uh, run away from the fact that there is uh, an African tradition, you get? Yes. And uh, we, we shouldn't also uh, get lost in Westernization because that is not who we are. Yeah. We are Africans. You get so it's it's more it's more or less like uh, picking what what we find essential on this side mm -hmm. and dropping what we find unnecessary on mm -hmm. this other side. Mm -hmm. Basically, just actually, like that, yeah. before it was dowry, it was bride price. Yes, mm -hmm. what you pay for the bride. Yeah, yes. yeah exactly. Bride. Yeah. So also in the Bible, there was dowry. It's just not uh, an African thing. Yes. It's, it's also there amongst yes. Yes. those cultures. Come out the Jews, the those the Amish, mm -hmm, all those people, mm -hmm. they still pay dowry. Yes, they do. No, no, it's their Bible. So it's not just uh, an issue of it being eroded by Western culture, but more just just becoming a modern way of doing what of doing we are doing things. traditionally. Brian, yeah? how do you brought up something very interesting, which is um, when you marry somebody, whether you marry them and their family mm -hmm. or you're marrying only the individual. And I want us to look at the there's another use of dowry, which is 
the man is supposed to show that I can take care of this girl. This girl that I'm coming to tell you I want to marry, this girl that I'm coming to tell you I want to have children with, I'm paying this diary as it's like goodwill, good like, like it's like showing. a show of potential. Yes, it's yes. like it's like showing I have capability to uh -huh. take care of her. I'm not just taking you guys on a ride, right? Yeah. And I'm not just taking her on a ride. I'm serious with you. Um, then there was the after of mm -hmm. if somebody does a pay diary, it's also an acceptance. Yani in a mean your family in accept. Which uh, your diary, mm. in a mean they have accepted, they have blessed this union and they want you to move forward. Now, them accepting means they have a role to play in your marriage when you have problems, which is what you brought up. Of if this if this man and woman are fighting, I can only speak for my culture, because I know my culture and the Kikuyu culture. Um, they always said that the people that were there during negotiations with your parents and even during the Rorashio, now the Dari ceremony, who were there, are the people that you should lean on for advice. Because mm. they are always married people, for starters. So they're always married people and they're older. So you're also usually told during the Rorashio ceremony that if you have any challenges, any problems, you have something you want to ask or inquire about marriage, life and family, this is a safe circle of people from both sides of the family that you can go to. Now that, that with westernization is something very interesting because like you're saying, it means somebody else has a say in my family home, what happens. Mm -hmm. So sometimes the advice can be good. We, we all have had challenges in life and you ask someone for advice, a mentor, an uncle, a dad, you ask them what do you think I should do. But there's that of now because I'm married and I paid this diary and I accepted, anytime me and my wife has a squabble, if my wife goes to the family and says, that family has a right to come in and talk. Do you guys think that that tradition no. should no. still remain? No. no. Susie, when I marry you, mm -hmm. it is you and me. Yes. Right? Uh -huh. And uh, during the during the that that bride thing, bride yes. price thing, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. these people only came for one purpose to receive the the prize. The you head. understand? It was ceremonial. They, <laughs> ceremonial, right? Yeah. They have yeah. No They're say. for an event, function. They have no say in my function. <laughs> These guys got no say in my marriage exactly. whatsoever. Right. Because when my mama was raising me up, they weren't there. When your papa was raising you up, these guys weren't there. Mm -hmm. So if I have a problem in my marriage, I know exactly who I'm supposed to approach. Yeah. Your parents. I will not go around calling an uncle, you know, from the third from generation to come in. To come in. Because when they come in, of course, if it's from their family, they will support you. Yeah. No matter what you do. From my family, they will support me. Well, sometimes for women's families, you're told, keep quiet and go back. But yes, <laughs> it's true. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it happens like that. But then look at this. When I pay dowry, it doesn't mean that, for example, the issue of kids, right? In my culture, when you pay dowry, it gives you power and authority that when things don't work, I got to go with the kids. Oh, yes, yes. You see that? Yeah. yeah. Yet, when we were making the kids, it was a mutual understanding. Of two people. So there is no way somebody else from outside comes into my marriage and begins dictating things. Trust yeah. me, I'm so sorry. But to me, I always have the power and authority to yeah, defend my fiancé, even before my own daddy. Mm -hmm. I do that. Yeah. And I tell you, come on, old man, I know you are wise and I know you are good. But, but this to is this, my marriage. this is my decision <laughs> yes. and it's final. Okay, I like that. You agree, yeah, exactly, you think family yeah, exactly. interfering or having a role to play in the marriage after is... It's a no-no. Yeah, it's a no-no. Definitely, it's a no-no because uh, you realize uh, exactly what it just said. It's, 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 it's you too. It's basically just you too. But remember, that is how it has always been mm -hmm. in the past, you get. Mm -hmm. And that is why I told you, it reaches a point you realize. You, you, look, at, you look at things in two perspectives. On Angalia, there's the traditional side and there is the western side. Yes. Of course, then you choose to pick because uh, if exactly what is just, what is just said again. Uh, if we have issues, I have the choice to choose who I'm going to address the issues with. With them, you who get, I'm going to ask. I, do, I don't get it, I don't get it. And also, I, I, I don't get, uh, let me sum up with one, these things are ceremonial. You get from mm -hmm. Rorashio mm -hmm. to, to marriages. Mm -hmm. You get, mm -hmm. also don't get uh, marriages, my say, we invite a thousand people. I also, I don't big get weddings. It. I don't get it, like. It's for the family, man. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm a firstborn girl. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's very interesting when we talk about, you know, marriages uh -huh. and weddings and how big it has to be uh -huh. and how, and I'm a firstborn girl um, in my, the nuclear family uh -huh. and on my dad's side of the family, I'm the first girl uh -huh. among the cousins. Uh -huh. So there's this like underlying pressure or say so uh -huh. of how the first, you know, girl's uh -huh. marriage has to be such a halabaloo. 
And by the way, nobody asks me. No, up till this day, nobody has ever asked me whether I want it big, uh, or I want it small, or what you know, what envision sure. I have for my marriage plans in the future if I even mm -hmm. want them. So <laughs> there's 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 the African tradition. It's like the firstborn son. You uh, know, if he comes yeah, and he says exactly. and he has found it's a huge deal so in like all the show. cultures. It's like a, it's yeah, like a show the whole village but comes. They're not being invited. Is, but but because the question is, is all that you know, that big crowd and everything. Art when you're baby, do they do they really care about about your lives? Now that's usually the catch. Is do they actually care about your marriage exactly. being successful? Do they care about your kids? Do they know what you? Role they play? Play? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good neighbors. Being good neighbors. There is no. What <laughs> happens? You okay. Said I have a question family... for you too. Okay. Yeah. I have a question. So Ask. you said uh, mm -hmm. when you when you're having marital problems, mm -hmm. for it to do ifikiadi wazazi means it's a very major problem. Yeah, serious one. Especially it's me kama bibi yako nakusumbua. Yeah, and maybe you are in good rapport with her mother. Yeah. Would you not call her mother and ask her to talk to your wife? The daughter, yeah. No, huh? I will never do that. So this is the thing. For me, can I say why? I'll not wait. Wait first. Just mm -hmm. one minute. For me, see it as a in buyer. The question yeah. you pose. I'll, I'll not say it's bad for mm -hmm. my my the, the extended family to meddle. Give advice and meddle. Give and advice. Yeah. No, check it. Oh no, it's just it's an opinion. No, no, you. I have a choice to say yes or no, okay. but I will not completely refuse. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes Sijuki, like I'm not super, I don't know everything. I'm not mm -hmm. Google. Sijuki, like you too. I can be having that ego, stacking to Mungina Engile, marriage yangu. But the thing is, I'm the one who's suffering. My marriage is collapsing. I'm suffering. The kids will also, they can feel that problem when it starts happening. Now, All of Steve, you will be suffering. Steve, yes? it depends on what you mean your marriage is suffering. It depends on what you define on suffering. Mm. For a problem to be that big, do you but, but also, also, extended, but also answer, means your marriage is suffering. But also, also answer, also answer, uh, why wouldn't you call your mother-in-law? Like, why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you put her in, a, in, the, in the list of the people you would help? No, yeah. no, 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 it is not about help. Look at this. First of all, in my culture, the mother-in-law holds you with deep respect, mm -hmm. complete respect. Yeah. You don't just pick your phone and begin calling her, telling her that, you know, your daughter, I mean, excuse me, mm -hmm. you came home, you said you want her. We gave her to you. Now you're calling us again and telling us that it's not working. Then, number two, if marriage is not working, I don't think there is anything so big that you and I cannot solve. I don't believe in that. Somebody used to say that, you know, people leave marriages because uh, people cheat or whatever. Yeah. Trust me, nobody leaves a marriage because somebody cheated. No one does that. It doesn't happen. It's because you're not able to talk and It agree. is because you don't want to talk things out. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now look at this. Does a mistake become a mistake because it's done by a woman? No. No. It doesn't, right? Yeah. No. But it's now how mistake. comes when so there is a problem in marriage and the girl has done some mistakes, now we can call the family. But when it's my side, I don't okay. want anyone else to come in. We were tackling this. We were tackling, tackling, we were tackling this as the men's side, yeah. There is the women's is. side. <laughs> <laughs> what, what you said, Nisawa. The thing is, how comfortable you are having... would you be if you're um, in quotes? How comfortable mm -hmm. Steve would you be if your wife had an issue and contacted a family member of yours to her mom, sister? I would not. It, and you hear it, but you would not scared from her side. Would scared from your mom? Your mom will call at you and so be like, "We need thing. to talk first about this." All, for you, it would be okay. First of all, no, for my marriage, okay. if you can help her. Then there's already yeah, there's a problem. Not, again, I'm, I'm saying that before I marry somebody, we need to have known each other deeply. Mm -hmm. We need to have communicated. Now, I to fall in love. Mm -hmm. Like the palm of my hand. Yes. Like the hem of my skirt. As you can clearly see, and I'm sure Purity, my producer, would support me on this, this African culture, westernization diary, we need a second episode because we are out of time, for sure, for sure, for sure. But it's been incredible having this conversation with you guys. Mm -hmm. I want you guys to share your social media handles so that when all the viewers are watching this episode and you're tweeting, you can also be able to ask them some questions directly and you guys can add, Ile aikuisha hapa, jaisha hapa Twitter. So use the hashtag mantalk and the hashtag KT and life and style and I want my viewers to share their social media handles and what they do so you can know where to find them. Major, we'll start with you. Yeah, again, I go by the name The Big Voice at Major Peter Sam. You can check me out uh, across all social media platforms at Major Peter Sam, as simple as that. Of course, you can also check another handle at Big Voice ENT. Bless. And you're, he's the big voice, like yeah, exactly, the voiceover yeah. artist is the one you want to call. Exactly. Steve? Anytime, anytime, also anytime you want that uh, morning voice. 
you know. I'm the person. <laughs> Let me see now to Kubo Avio. But no stranger to the show, Steve Ligami. Yeah. Facebook, Twitter, Steve Ligami. Uh, Instagram is Steve Big Boy. That's my stage name. It's my pseudonym, Steve Big Boy. Uh, radio, TV, Kilab. Niko I'm all over the place. Also, you can find me on Tinder at Steve Ligami. <laughs> I like it. Yes, but no kwa kwa market. Yeah. It's important. <laughs> Reinhard. <laughs> Bonke, take it away. So viewers, um, I'm Reinhard Bonke and I'm happy to be here. If you want to find me on social media, find me at uh, Reinhard Bonke on Facebook, Reinhard Bonke on uh, Instagram and, and on Twitter. And I have to say this, that um, as we finish, come on guys, I mean building a brand takes time. It requires a lot of determination and sacrifices. However, every day is decision day. So decide on what you want to do with your life. If you want to pay dowry, come on man. Go ahead and do it. If you don't want, you got no say on that. Thank you. <laughs> I like that so much. Well, guys, you can catch Man Talk right here at the same time on KTN Home. I have been your host, Susan Joroge. You can find me on my social medias at Sura underscore common. Sura common. Everywhere. I'm going to see you guys next week here on Man Talk. Same time, same place. Keep it on KTN Home. Bye.